Good afternoon, everybody. Afternoon, people. You find us at Vale Park today. It's a nice Ferrari down there. See that? Tesserossa. Gorgeous car. Owner just showed me uh, the engine and everything. Lovely. Uh, it's a Motley Crew out today. We've got Sai, who's over there. Hi, Sai. Uh, Chris. Um, uh, Richie's on, on his way uh, over. Uh, I don't know if think Mike's coming today, but there's four of us. So it's a Motley Crew session. Going over to do the lower veil with head rumours of rays. So maybe we'll be in luck and we might just get uh, an early one. Let's find out. Right, I'm going to set my gear up. I'm um, setting mine up. Chris is setting his up. He's ready to go. It's nearly. Yeah, so. There you go. Still like high tide. Oh yeah, well. the water's still in. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, we're here about 10 hours too early. So um, yeah, I'm going to crack on and get some gear set up. So. Today, I have got three rods. This guy's an absolute genius. I am, you know. So. I've got Paul Kelly with me. I am using the Tiger. Here we go. Two 12 foot rods today. Although I have got me uh, Rampage 2 with me, but I'm going to be using those two little beauties. <laughs> Donovan's just turned up and parked pretty much in the middle of the road. It's going to be a fun session, this oh, one. <laughs> it's got it's Don as well. Say hello, Don. You're on film, lad. Am I? Hello. The fishing haggis. The fishing haggis has uh, turned up today in his camper. And is uh, the main man Dono, who we've all been waiting for. Dono, lad. Dono. <laughs> We're gonna get a ray today. So the only bait I've got for, so I better do. Same here. <laughs> Can't be bothered chasing this silly car. Don't forget, Don. Longest fish wins a pack of squid. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you call it? Here we are. Just crossing the little channel. Always be careful when you're doing things like this, guys. Make sure you go with someone that you knows what they're doing, or you can check the tire times and all that. Don't be just heading straight out as soon as you see a bit of sand. Just take it nice and easy. Right, I'll speed it up. Well, here we are, the water's edge of Vale. The site, just setting up, getting his lines out. I've got my lines out at the moment. First one on the poly panel was a crack off though. Um, Got to be down to old line. Um, same sort of scenario what Richie was doing happening when we were in Ross's pool. So, note to everybody, make sure your lines are always changed because once they go brittle, mate, you'll end up losing a lot of gear. I've lost one so far, hopefully, don't lose as many as Richie did over the Otter's Pool. There he is, look at him. Multitasking, rods, tripod, it's all going off. We've got Mr. Donovan. I'm down from Manchester, fit the boat. All of the lads as well, turned off. Fingers crossed, it should be a good session. But once again though, if you've got a line that's been on your reels for quite some time, it's always worth giving it a change. Richie's lost a fair bit of gear due to line breaking being brittle. I've just lost one there being brittle again, so keep an eye on it, gents. 
Well, what have we got in a bait tray today, I hear you ask? Well, I have gone with these cr uh, uh, crab, crab and worm shoved in there. They're still half frozen, which I didn't do last time. But I've got a load of frozen ones in the thermos. Uh, I've got bluey, and that is it today. I'm going to see what happens with a few bigger baits and see what I can get out. Uh, but that's basically what I've got. On the left rod, I have got uh, a full bluey, mini bluey, and on the right rod, I'm going to put one of these squid bombs on there. And as you can see, because of the paste, I've got some gloves because it went everywhere last time. So, yeah, that's what's in the uh, bait tray today. So, let's get this on there and get that out there. And he's in already. Look at this. Is that your first cast, mate? Yeah? Let's have a look. Oh, nice little fella. Simon's into something now as well. Let's go see what he's got. A lot of walking today. Just to prove that you can catch other fish on hair rigs. There you go. There's the hook right through the lip. Pull that out. Boom. There's Jumping the hair rig with Bluey. A nice little fish to shoot there. Nice white one. So I'm just prepping a nice big Bluey. Gonna get that right out there. Look at all that juice, juicy goodness in the top of that. You see that? Look at that. If I was a ray, I'd have that all day. But they've got to be in the river. But there's been a few caught, so that's why I've gone with the big bait on this rod. It's a nice, uh, nice tide. It's, it's slowly starting to calm down, and uh, it flew out. It, it went out really, really quick. We were kind of like, you turn round, and it, and it was. Uh, you'd have to move all your gear again. So it, it, it was. It slowed down a bit, but it was rapid on its on its way out. Anyway, that's talking, and let's. Um, Fish. Got a fish. Got a fish. Yeah, no, mate. It's just had a nice little knock on the big bait, though. Have you? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've got half a mackerel and uh, some. Well, look at all that stuff on the panel. Nice. Big bait. Big bait, yeah. Big bait, mate. Yeah. Why not start with a ray? Rayos. Rayos. Congros. Codos. <laughs> Dabos. Dabos. White house. White house. White house. White house. Where's your size up to? What's happening? Just the one white one so far. Any action? Uh, no, it's a bit hard to tell. Just like the tide's running out that quick. It is you quick, You yeah. a big bow of line in your line. It's only really little knocks, you're just taking up the slack. I didn't even know I had that white knot, to be <laughs> fair. I just reeled in to change the bait. You have a white on the end of the hook going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ordered my one of them today. Yeah? Yeah, it should come Gosh, tomorrow. Gosh, I made to tell yeah. you. <laughs> I've all your little bait boxes and everything, see what I mean? Got squid, worm, bluey, trout, sardine. Trout? Yeah, Sh rainbow Sh trout. Show, us, show the audience some trout. Some rainbow trout. Look at that. Where did you get that from? Uh, Morrison's, Morrison's, two for a fiver. Nice. Uh, they were on offer, and I believe congas like rainbow trout. That is what I've heard too. And the skin on it is really tough. It's like, you put your rock point through it and it's not coming off. So you can fold it in on itself yeah, and Yeah, mate, you band the it skin on the rainbow like trout is really tough. Oh, right, so you don't need that. loads of elastic, you just put a fillet on a racket. A lot of out. Man. <laughs> Jane Pullen, he's the man. <laughs> yeah, let's promote T.A. Anglin. Yeah, yeah, he's the man, he doesn't use the rainbow trout, so I thought. He uses anything. Hey, how are you finding that um, 16 foot when you're on the, on the beach? All right, be all right, be fair, you mate. Know, yeah. It's a completely different experience, isn't it? It is, it's you a get, long rod, you've got to get your timing right. Yeah, you, but you get that, you've got more space but, to yeah, get it yeah, out, haven't you? you get extra distance. Yeah. It's a bit hard down Cod Corner and stuff, because you've got the edge rows and that behind you. There's nothing stopping you there, though, the is beach. there? <laughs> See ya. It's a different, it's a different animal yeah, though, it's on the yeah, beach, it's isn't it? nice to be yeah. fair, gets that bit of extra distance. A bit more of a sensitive tip than me. me other well, I was going to bring my footage. rampage today and change my mind at the last minute and brought me a uh, my sentry. It's in the van actually. And then I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, 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 and then, nah, I'll just use the sentry, just yeah. give, give it a good stretch on the beach. No. I haven't used it on the beach yet. I'm liking it, I'm yeah, liking good. it. Good, well, I'm glad you like it, mate. It's good, what? Oh, oh, good. There we go. Right, back to it. Right, I'm going to go back to my station. 
I'm going to change tactic. I'm going to just put on a flapper, see if we can get a couple of uh, a couple of fish, a couple of dabs flying there. I don't know, play uh, white, and, you know, there might be the odd cod as well. But he's got something. Oh, there you go. Oh, was that on the big bait, yeah? No, it was on the small bait, the flopper. As I was talking about that one, they just started a little boat in there. Happy days. Nice, I'll leave you to it. Well done, Chris. Waiting, yeah. Sturdy size. Yeah, they are starting to shrink, aren't they? Yeah. So get, get a bit smaller in size, but. Perfect. Shark rod, mackerel, sir. Try and rescue this fish, if we can get it back alive. It's kicking. What's shot? This is going to be part of the oh. out. Oh, there he goes. Just thought that was going to be part of the Ooh. outtakes then. It's really good to have Mr. Donovan with us today as well. What's happening, Rich? Any action? Sitting out for the ray. Look at that for the bait. Lovely, that. Well presented. That's how you present your bait. Especially on the Trident gear as well. Look at that. Quality that. Any nibbles or anything? Any action? Uh, first cast, dabs, playing about. But, uh, not sit it out. Another nice little dab. Nice and healthy. Here we go. Nice little fella. Let's get, let's get him back in the water. Off to live. Another die. Yeah, she's sure it's not pregnant. Yeah, she's never rocking. Look at the belly on that. Oh my days. She's sure it's not pregnant or something. I don't know. Look at the size of that. There's a nice little scar right there as well. That's a fat little rocking in that, isn't it? Wow. That's what I love about it. Seeing someone getting their first species and that. Just love it. It's just it makes makes it all worthwhile, you know. When it's out here and it's cold, it's freezing, and then one next session that someone's getting something good on side there and made up for them first ever fish. Love, love getting, love. Don't you love that when someone gets the first species? Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Happy days for side there, Defo. Got a little uh, little pin waiting. I got it. I got it on the bluey, whole bluey. There's no one. There's no. There's no cod around to fight them for it. So they must be loving it. And off he goes. 
There you go. Hasn't been too bad today, has he? First ever Rockland. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's a little backstory going on as well. So Scott Scottish down down there, right? Um, what do you call himself? The fishing haggis, the haggis, the f something like that, whatever. I had a better than him in my shop yesterday, just just for a bit of fun. Uh, longest fish. Yeah. And I wins a pack of squid. Okay. And, we were both on 27. <laughs> My white one was 28. How are you doing with your own squid? I just had double charge you, mate. <laughs> so, we were both on 27. So I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, what does it go down to? Who's caught the most fish? We've both got the same amount. Oh, well, have you got those? Well, you've got three as well. Yeah. Because yeah. all from bad, so we catch some more fish then, couldn't we? Yeah. Ooh. It'll be a rain in a minute. Well, I get it in the slack water, aren't we? Because, like, it's, it's not pulling your lines. It's already, though, isn't it? It's not even longer. Yeah, it wasn't around much. It's since that water, when the water changed and it started sucking out. Yeah, it's not running it's just, anymore. It just changed, isn't it? Your lines are going straight now instead of. Yeah, but it's like pulling the tip. Exactly, no, so. Now could be the time for the race. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I've tried blue, I've tried squid, I've tried rainbow trout. Um, I had the nibble on the rainbow trout, but it just didn't develop. You know it's the hour before, don't you? You know what that means, don't you? <laughs> uh, what's he into now, Richard? Seems to be quite uh, tight a bit, doesn't it? This, this line's about me, Bode. You might be on your own rig there, dragging your own line in. Yeah, I think you're dragging your line in there, mate. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm gone, where are you? Yes, yeah, that's it. All teamwork, this, brothers. No. Nothing rich. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment, to say the least. I thought that was the winter ray that I'd been trying to hit um, all afternoon, but nah, I caught my own line and a bit of seaweed. These things happen. It's been all bad. A few small fish come out. I'm just on my last cast now. I'm packing down one of the rods. Uh, the rain's coming in as well, and it left me waterproof in the van, so I'm just going to uh, pack down one of the rods, get ready to uh, move on out and head on home. Uh, I'll catch up with you if anything happens. I think that Cy and, Cy and Chris have just had another little white nail pin, uh, white and dab each. So, you know, there's still little things out there, but I've just gone big. I've gone with half a bluey and a squid, and I've just launched it as far as I can. So, I'll get back to you if anything else happens. Just like that, the tide decides to change. That first wave, I missed it, but that first wave was mega. Two seconds later. Back to normal. Bonkers, that, that wave just came out of nowhere. There's no boats around, nothing. Gotta love the Maisie, haven't you? The mighty Maisie, just love it. You never know what's going to happen down here.
Yeah, but look how tidy all that is. Yeah, I know, but look at all. Have you even got any cleaning? Right, three in the bags, you know. You get one step ahead of the game, don't you? Yeah, I might have to ask you how we were on the beach, uh, just bring some zen to the street. Do you know if you want to put anything, just put it in your box, always. Yeah. It's nice and tidy, because I'm going to roll around the van. You won't forget about it, and it'll be there when you want it. Where's the next pack, man? Do you think she's smart? I don't think I know. You can't because you put one in the back of the van. Yeah, I knew where it was. I knew where it was. Don't lose it down the beach, do I? Don't lose it down the beach. It's This is what a storage device is. That's what the storage stuff is.